Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about angle pairs and the importance of us knowing our vocab. You're going to need a pen or a pencil, something to write with, a calculator, and your notes, plus the foldable I gave you in class. The first definition we're going to talk about is what it means to be complementary. So complementary angles, if you think back to our vocab from day one, are angles that have a sum of 90 degrees. These angles can be adjacent, which means touching, or they can be non-adjacent, which wouldn't be mean touching. So looking at your examples on your definition page, two that would be touching would be your adjacent angles, and the two that aren't touching would be your non-adjacent angles. Now, how can this definition help me to understand a problem or solve for a given value of x? Um, in example one, you're just given a picture. Here we have two angles, but we notice the important symbol that's in the corner here. This important red box means that these two angles equal 90 degrees. And remember, 90 degrees, that means complementary angles. So when I set up an equation using your angle addition, so the whole angle is 90 degrees, and the two angles on the inside should add up to that. So I have x plus 3 plus 2x minus 3. Together, these two angles should equal 90. Now that I have my equation set up, I can go about solving this using my algebraic skills. On the left-hand side, I need to combine like terms. I get 3x plus uh, I have a 3 and a negative 3, so those are going to cancel each other out. I get 3x equals 90. Now to solve for x, I divide both sides by 3. So x is going to equal 30. Now if I were to go back in and sub substitute this x, back into both of my angles for angle two, the measure of angle two would equal, if I plug in at 30 for x, I'd get 30 plus three, which equals 33 degrees. And so what do you think measure of angle one should be? Hopefully we're thinking 57 because we want both of these angles to add up to equal 90 degrees, but let's just do the math to check our work. So 2 plug in 30 for x minus 3. 2 times 30 is 60 minus 3 is 57. They check out. Measure of angle 2 is 33. The measure of angle 1 is 57. The next definition we should talk about are supplementary angles. Again, looking back at our notes, we should understand already, or we should know already, that supplementary angles are two angles with the sum of 180 degrees. Again, similarly to um, complementary angles, they can be adjacent or non-adjacent. Remember, the word adjacent means touching. So looking at your diagram, the one on the left down here would be adjacent. And these two on the right would be non-adjacent because they are not touching. So when we think about supplementary, remember that this is 180 degrees. So two angles that sum with a sum, sum means addition, that add up to 180 degrees. So in example two, we have the measure of the supplement. So again, this means what equals 180 degrees of an angle is 36 degrees less than the measure of the angle. Find the measures of the angles. Okay, so first, let's see if we can draw a picture. So I'm gonna draw this picture on a line. Does it need to be on a line? No, because they don't have to be adjacent. Okay, so if I have, here are my two angles. They don't have to be on a line, but I'm just drawing a picture. Okay, we'll go A, B, C, and this can be D. Now, we know the measure of the supplement of an angle is 36 degrees less than the measure of the angle. So, we do not know what the measure of angle A, B, D is. So, in there, if I don't know what something is, what do I plug in for an unknown? I hope we're thinking a variable. So, I'm going to plug in X for this angle on the left. And now, I know that the supplement for 
the measure of angle A, B, D is 36 degrees less than the measure of the angle. So now if I'm talking about the whole measure of the angle, I know that this angle over here has to be 36 degrees less. So which operation do I use to show that angle DBC is 36 degrees less than the measure? Well, if this is my measure X, I need to be 36 degrees less than, hopefully you're thinking subtract 36, okay? So again, I was 36 degrees less than the measure of the other angle, and I know that they're supplementary. So if I know that they're supplementary, I know that they equal 180. And in order to figure out X is to set up an equation, I do X plus X minus 36 should equal 180 degrees. Combining like terms on the left-hand side, I get 2X minus 36 equals 180. Now to get X alone, I have to add 36 to both sides, 36 plus 36. So I get 2X, 180 plus 36 should equal 216. To get X alone, then I need to divide by 2 to both sides. So X equals 216 divided by 2 is 108. So now I solve for X, but I was asked to find the measures of the angles. So the measure of angle ABD, remember I made this picture up, so your picture might be a little different if your picture is labeled different. That's fine. Just make sure you write down the correct angle. Is 108. Now the measure of angle D, B, C, we plug it in, I get 108 minus 36. So 108 minus 36 is 72. Now just to double check, these two angle measures I got should add up to what? 180 because they're supplementary. So 72 plus 108 does equal 180. Therefore, my problem is complete. The next definition we need to talk about are vertical angles. So vertical angles are formed by intersecting lines and are across from each other. So here I have two sets of vertical angles. A is vertical with A and B is vertical angles with B. So they need to be across from each other. If you notice where they touch, it kind of looks like a V. So B, they both, they form V's and the vertex of the V then is where they cross. That would be the intersection point. So vertical angles are formed by intersecting lines and they are across from one another. So looking at this example, vertical angles, remember that they're across from each other and they share that V. How do you think that they relate? We didn't say it in the previous slide, but vertical angles angles are, what do you think? Are they supplementary? Are they complementary? Well, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you right now that vertical angles are congruent. Okay, so make sure you get that in your notes. You write that down so you know for future examples. They are congruent. So whenever I have a set of vertical angles, remember what does congruent mean? Congruent means equal. To set up my equation, I'm going to take the two vertical angles, 2x minus 5, and I'm going to set it equal to the other angle. So that would be 105. Now that I have my equation set up, all I have to do from here is solve. I'm going to add 5 to both sides. 2x equals 110. Divide both sides by 2. x is going to equal 55 degrees or excuse me, just 55, because we're not finding an angle. So 55 would be my answer for X. Now we know what this one's already going to be because it has to be equal to 105. So that should equal 105 degrees if we had to plug it back in. Our last definition for this video is linear pairs. So linear pairs are supplementary. What does supplementary mean again? Equals 180. And they're also adjacent. So this is just a supplementary angle that's on the same line. So adjacent equals 
matching. Okay, so when you look at your picture, linear pairs, if you notice, they're going to be on the same line. So a pair of angles on the same line. I need to write that down. Pair of angles on the same line. This is what it means to be a linear pair. So again, on the same line here, 120 and 60 are touching angles, but they should also add up to 180 degrees. So 120 plus 60 equals 180. This is what it means to be a linear pair. So let's try an example. Since we don't have a picture, let's draw one. So I'm going to draw this up here. Okay, a linear pair. Remember, this is a line, a pair of angles on the same line. So again, draw your angles. I'm going to label this diagram as should you. We'll do P, Q, R, and S. So we have two angles that form a linear pair. The measure of one angle is three times. The measure of the other. So again, this is that word problem where we kind of have to make up our own equation using the words that they give us. So if we don't know one angle, we don't know what one angle is, an unknown we normally place as x. So sqr is going to be my unknown angle. Now this tells me that the measure of the other angle is three times the measure of our unknown x here. So how do you think I would write that? 3 times x would just be 3x. Okay, so now we need to find the measure of each angle. We know that linear pairs are adjacent, so they're touching. Oops, adjacent. But we also know that they equal 180 degrees. So these two angles must equal 180 degrees. So 3x plus x equals 180. On the left-hand side, I need to combine like terms to get 4x equals 180. So now if I take 180 and I divide it by 4, I both sides by 4 to get that x alone. So 180 divided by 4 equals 45 degrees. So if we go over here and we figure out what the measure of angle SQR is, SQR, all I have to do is plug in for X, so the measure of SQR is 45 degrees. Now, without having to plug in to PQS, what should the measure of angle PQS be? Well, we know that they're supplementary, so I would take 180 and subtract 45. 180, subtract 45, and this should equal 135. Now, just to double check my work, Let's plug in for x, so 3 times 45 equals, plug that in your calculator, 3 times 45, this does equal 135. So my math checks out. Make sure you label your angles with degree signs. Found both my angles, so this measure then, I found the measures of both angles, so this problem is complete. Now, I thank you for taking good notes. We will do more work with this in class the next time I see you, so make sure you bring your notes. Good class, and I will see you later.